the most famous vegetable stew out there would have to be a ratatouille. The ratatouille comes from the south of France and is a combination of capsicum, eggplant, zucchini, onions and tomato. It's super fresh and you can eat it at any time of the year. I love it as is, but today I'm going to be serving it with a beautiful piece of seared tuna. I was lucky enough to be in the south of France this year and I had this specific dish and it was just so nice. It was summer and this was quite fresh to have. It's also really easy to make. And now there's two ways of doing your ratatouille. You can saute the whole thing in the pan or you can roast your veggies in the oven. And that's what I'm going to do. So I get a really caramelised, concentrated flavour on the vegetables. So I'm using an eggplant that's a medium sized eggplant. Don't forget after it's roasted in the oven they do shrink a little. So we're going to cut that into about a one centimetre dice. And I'll pop this onto a large tray and spread it out. I'll add one red capsicum that I've also diced into one centimetre pieces. Ideally you want everything the same size because it's going to cook evenly. It's looking good. And one zucchini, top and tail, and we'll cut that in half. And then again dice into one centimetre pieces. Wonderful. Again, scattering that over the other veggies. Now we'll break that up. Now this needs a generous amount of extra virgin olive oil, at least three tablespoons. Be generous with it. And we need to season this some salt and some fresh cracked pepper. Great. That looks so appetising already. So give that a little mix again with your hands. And this goes into the oven about 180 degrees for 10 minutes or until everything is caramelised. Now while that part of the ratatouille is cooking, let's get onto the tomato sauce that we're going to fold through our vegetables. So in a sauté pan, I'll add some more extra virgin olive oil, about a tablespoon this time and we'll fry off one onion that's been diced. Three cloves of garlic. I'll bruise. In the south of France, they love their garlic. So a generous amount of garlic and we'll roughly chop it. So three cloves in and tomatoes. I'm using good quality Australian crushed tomatoes in it goes about 400 grams. Give that a stir. And a bouquet garni, which is just a fancy word for a bundle of herbs. I've got the combination of bay leaves, thyme and parsley. And that can go in. Another pinch of salt. And I'm going to pop the lid on this. And this is going to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. When those veggies are cooked, we mix it all together and then we'll go on to the next stage. All right, these roasted veg are looking fantastic. Nice and soft, some good colour. And we're going to place this into our tomato and onion mixture over here. You can see it has reduced significantly. That's how I want it. So we'll just place them into the pot. And this is cooked. We just need to fold everything together. So just with my wooden spoon, we'll mix that. Mm. It looks so good. Taste of summer right there with all these veggies. And now for our tuna, have a look at this beautiful loin of tuna. I'll only take a two centimetre piece off for one portion for myself. So we're just going to cut it about this thick when you're cutting tuna, remember it's just like butter, so be delicate with it. A nice sharp knife to be used for this. That is perfect. Now I need to add some oil, salt and pepper. So a small drizzle. 
I'm grilling this in a griddle pan. So you don't want to be adding your oil to the griddle pan. You want to be seasoning and oiling your fish on the board. And pepper. And this is going to give it a lovely crust. So spread that over, turn it over, and we'll do the same. Pepper. Oil. And salt. Gorgeous. Now I've preheated my grill pan. You want it to be piping hot because essentially I want to char both sides for about a minute. So onto the grill pan, press that down. And the best thing about fish is you can tell when to turn it because you'll see the protein change colour. It'll start to go white. So as soon as we've got about five millimetres of that white, we'll turn it over and sear it on the other side. In the meantime, I'll start to plate up our ratatouille. We've got a nice black plate. And we'll bring the ratatouille over. And we'll pop this in the centre. A few spoonfuls. Lovely. And let's turn this tuna. Oh, love those grill marks. Just perfect. I'm just going to press that down. And I like mine really rare, so we're going to turn that off and we'll take it out. And because fish is so delicate, it will continue cooking as it's being plated up. So we'll just rest that on our ratatouille. And good quality extra virgin olive oil. Another generous drizzle over the top so it's part of the dish some fresh salt just crushed over the top. This right here is a celebration of summer vegetables dressed in a rich tomato sauce. Beautiful piece of tuna like that. That is a perfect dish in my eyes.